The most glorious day in the history of protein bars is almost here. Tomorrow, June 17th, 2 p.m. Central, the white chocolate fruity cereal crunch Anna bar is officially dropping. If you like your protein bars chalky, uninspired, and not even flavored like they say they're flavored, then this ain't for you. You're gonna wanna skip this one. But if you want a protein bar that tastes so good, you're gonna almost feel guilty eating it, then you're gonna wanna check this out. You're gonna feel as guilty as Ronald McDonald in the drive through at Burger King. <laughs> like you betrayed your diet, but you didn't. Finalbossprovis.com could RJ test saves you 10%, limited inventory, so be there, be square. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. When you start any diet, the first thing they tell you to take out is uh, usually fried chicken. We all know it ain't good. Boneless wings, fried chicken tenders, fried chicken sandwiches. The way they're preparing the chicken, where they deep fry it, they're putting a crazy breading on it, they're adding sauces that are loaded down with fat, it ain't good. But today, folks, I'm gonna show you how to make the best anabolic fried chicken you've ever had, and uh, you're gonna leave this video, and you're gonna start hanging pictures of me up in your house. Maybe light some candles, build a shrine. I don't know how far you're gonna take it, but let's just say your love and respect for me is gonna go up 10. In today's video, we'll be making making an anabolic crispy chicken bacon Swiss sandwich. Everything you love about a fried chicken sandwich with half the calories and even more protein. If you've been wanting some fried chicken but all the finger lickings making your girl give you a butt kicking, then look no further than this video because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. If good food is the apple of your eye and it's been the bane of your existence when it comes to staying in shape, then let me tell you, you're watching the right, you're on the right channel for one, but for two, if you want the ultimate guide in your pocket, check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. All my recipes broken down and easy to use guide to fish right in your pocket. We're making history one video at a time. You get this bad boy? It grows with the channel, so there's always new recipes being added, new uh, things to get into in that kitchen. Skip the drive through get in that kitchen, make gains. It's the best decision you'll ever make. All right, baby, if you guys are ready for an epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All right, man, I'm gonna start by going over the primary ingredients we need for this. Nothing too crazy. Some of it might even be considered a little sexy. One of the most important components of making a quote unquote anabolic sandwich is using the best bun you can find. These are 130 calorie potato rolls. I literally go to the store and I'll add up all the macros on the back and find the lowest calorie buns I can find. These just happen to fit the bill, but your store should have something very similar, if not this exact brand. For the breading, we're gonna use just some basic plain white flour. I buy a big bag, dump it in a container like this. Last forever. And by the way, I will put the recipe card up on the screen right here so you can screenshot it if you want to have a handy little list right there for you. We're going to need some cooked turkey bacon. I love these packets right here because it's already done. You don't have to cook one extra thing. You can always buy your turkey bacon separate, cook it, but it's just going to take more time, man. I like to take little pieces of these recipes and just simplify them a bit. And since we're making this anabolic, of course, we're going to need a lot of chicken. You're going to need some big breasts. I know what some of you are thinking. It's about time Remington put big breasts on the channel. And trust me, I'm just as thrilled about it as you are. And then finally, we're gonna need a little bit of honey mustard and some extra thin Swiss cheese. You wanna do extra thin? It's gonna be about half the calories of a regular size slice. So this will get us that cheese without all the extra calories. Now it's time to get to work. I'm gonna start by grabbing a big breast, popping it on that food scale. And as of right now, it weighs 304 grams. My goal is to trim off the excess, start shaping it into a sandwich sized piece of chicken. And then as I'm removing pieces, I'm popping them back in my Tupperware for later. And I keep weighing it out until I hit that magic number. And bingo, 224 grams exactly. And the perfect shape for a sandwich. And what we're gonna do now is employ the Mason Woodruff soaking technique. That requires some egg beaters in a bowl, along with some pickle juice. Now, you don't gotta do the pickle juice, it'll work fine with just egg beaters, but I really think the flavor this adds, although it can be subtle, can really level the sandwich up about 10. Then I'll just give this a quick whisk and set our breast down here to let soak while we get our breading ready. And now we get our breading ready. I will put a separate recipe card on the screen right here for what all goes into this. But keep in mind, you can really just do the flour and the baking powder and add whatever seasonings you want. But what I'm about to do, I like. Start with 20 grams of white flour. Then we add a couple grams of baking powder. Really helps this crisp up. About a gram of garlic powder, gram of paprika. The next ones are optional, but about a gram of salt. Not really too worried about that sodium. And a dash of pepper. And once they're all in here, we can go in with a spoon and mix them up or forget the spoon and just shake it up. Two solutions to the same problem. 
Mmm, at this point, I'm getting a sweet pickle aroma off our egg wash. Reminds me of one of my exes. She always smelled like pickles. And we're getting that sweet peppered aroma from the breading. What we gotta do, we're gonna lift up our patty and let the excess drip off. And once we do that, we transfer it into our breading bowl. And what I always do to start is just shake it around. That's gonna give it a nice little coating right out of the gate. And then once you know that underside's pretty good, you can give her a flip, keep shaking. And at this point, our breast just got augmentation. It's looking way better, but there's still some breading in here. What I like to do is kind of sprinkle it on top, pat it in, because obviously we're counting all this into the calories of this sandwich, and the more of this on here, the crispier she gonna be. And with some of this extra breading, you might be able to pull it apart, and you'll see some crevices in this chicken that aren't quite breaded. You can just sprinkle some stuff down in there. Never a bad idea to fill those holes. And at this point, this is looking pretty dang good to me. Now all we gotta do is give this sucker a fry. All right, for those of you in the audience, now is the time to pay very close attention. This is an air fryer basket right here. I use a Ninja Foodie Deluxe so it's removable. Some of you might not have that. So if you do, just follow the same steps except uh, do it in your air fryer. Start by hitting your air fryer with non-stick. And then what we're gonna do is set our breast right down inside. And as you can see, she's pretty well breaded, but I'd be a madman lunatic if I didn't sprinkle some of this extra breading on top here. Just give her a little spritzing. Now the crucial part where everybody messes up this sandwich is they forget this crucial component. We have to dampen it with a little bit of nonstick spray. Not too much, but if you want it to crisp, you gotta hit it. So boom, and then for safe measure, once we do it, we'll give it a flip, sprinkle a little more of that breading on top here. Like dad always said, there ain't no such thing as too much bread. Then we'll go ahead, give her another quick one. And then now that she's ready to go, we'll just pop it down in the air fryer, close the lid, that's an important step. And all we're gonna do is cook this on 400 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. I always recommend to be safe. You can use a food thermometer, check it. If it hits 165 degrees, you're in there like swimwear. Before I hit go, you don't gotta flip it, you don't gotta do nothing like that, but I do recommend checking it halfway through. If you notice any dry spots, hit them with a quick little spritzing. Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to build. We start with about 10 grams of honey mustard right on the bottom bun. Take a spoon and spread it out. Next, we place our massive piece of anabolic fried chicken right on top of the sauce. And a quick note, I did have to cook this a few minutes longer to get that internal temperature up to where we wanted it. If you follow the original cook times, just pound it out a little bit, it'll make it a little wider, but it's a little thinner, it'll cook right how you want it. Next up, we lay down our extra thin Swiss cheese. And then finally, we lay down our turkey bacon. Pop on that top bun and we are in business. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you would 10 out of 10 smash this bad boy. I mean, guys, I ain't gonna front here or nothing. I really think this might be the most attractive looking sandwich I've ever made. Gotta give a massive shout out to the big breast that made this possible. Eating healthy, eating good foods does not have to be a boring process. You can get a little creative with that kitchen and the, you take the tips from this channel, you're gonna be an anabolic scholar in no time flat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before this gets cold, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Here we go. But first, don't forget, tomorrow, June 17th, 2 p.m. Central, white chocolate, fruity cereal crunch. We will sell out very fast. So set a reminder on your phone, be at fontabossformance.com, use code RJF10, you're gonna save 10%, and you're gonna have a bar that tastes as good, or if not better, than this sandwich. All right, you guys already got an eye full of this, but I'll give you another quick peek. You got that seasoned anabolic fried chicken, you got the turkey bacon, you got the melted Swiss, you got the honey mustard. Literally, I don't know how this could be bad. Three, two, one, let go. Mm, look at the juices that just flew out of that chuckum. Making it in the air fryer and pulling it right when it hits temp is the money shot. And when you bite into it and it squirts you in the face, that is also the money shot. The breading's crispy, it's seasoned to perfection. I do recommend, even if you're trying to watch your sodium, to add it in there, because that salt's just, it's doing something for me. It's the French tickler of this recipe. I know I say this a lot with recipes, but like, if I was served this at a restaurant, I ordered it, and I expected it to be the unhealthy version, I would have no idea that this was actually uh, the better, higher protein bread. I have no idea. Kind of like one of those glory holes. Sometimes you just have no idea. Might cut that out. Just look at how perfect that chicken is. Juicy, white meat, we didn't have to deep fry it, none of that nonsense. I could literally eat one of these a day for the rest of my life. Literally could. 
Mm. Now in this entire sandwich, you make it exactly how I did it, which I end up with for the whole darn thing, is only 518 calories, 10 grams of fat, 67 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. 67 grams of protein, 518 calories. This is a meal for me right here. If you wanted to cut down on the calories even further, you could literally skip the bacon, you could skip the actual Swiss cheese, you could use fat free cheese for more protein. There's different ways to customize it, but as long as you get the fried chicken in the right bun, you're gonna be an anabolic business. Might as well set a lemonade stand up out front, but instead of lemonade, you just put anabolic business. Girls walk by and just feel your arms. That's what that business is all about. If you need an investor, let me know. Remy's got that one. If you really break it down and think about it, you could do chicken, rice, and broccoli and end up with similar calories, similar macros as this. Our bun is our carbs. So instead of rice, we're using a low calorie bun. We have eight ounces, 224 grams of chicken. We got the cheese and bacon. We just swapping those for veggies. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And we're actually enjoying what we're doing. That is uh, what I call a life worth living. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Man, I know we've made some mean burgers on this channel, but as far as chicken goes, this one is unbeatable. You gotta make it. Tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. I know you're gonna love it. Just don't blame me though. If after eating this, your girlfriend wakes up with a beard. I ain't responsible for all the extra anabolics in your household. And if you're one of the lucky few that has the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated. This recipe is now in there along with all my other recipes. Link in description. It's one of those things, you get it, you follow it, I know it's gonna work, man. And you're gonna love it. It's, it's sustainable. And if there's one thing that causes a diet to not work, it's that it uh, wasn't sustainable. Been there, done that. I'm good. I'm on aboard this train. Appreciate you guys as always. I got some amazing videos coming up. We got summer shredding coming. I'm gonna vlog that. Got some cool recipes floating around in the idea tank. Got some other stuff planned too. Uh, we're, we're gonna keep it popping around here. So if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below, even an emoji, a pickle, an asparagus, a neutered poodle, anything down there will work. Helps the algorithm, helps me out a ton. Subscribing also helps too if you enjoy this video. We got plenty more coming. I already told you, but June 17th, don't you miss out. Hey, yeah, folks. Folks, um, I think we're good here. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right. I mean, we're taking care of that. We're, we're, we're handling it. Mm, honey mustard.